y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. We need to get to 1K. We're on the road to that. But let's go ahead and address this great value finding and free agency that Terry is referring to in his statement to address the immediate team needs. Um, he said, we're going to have to make some hard decisions on some players on this roster and kind of been seeing that just a little bit. And we're going to have to earn some jobs as scouts. We're scouts, right? We're going to have to find players because you can't just build your roster with overpaid players in free agency or top draft picks. We have to really dig and find value in free agency. That's working with the coaches and finding exactly what they need and going and finding the players that they need. That's throughout the entire draft and that's an undrafted free agency. So we have to be scouts and go find good players that can really fit the makeup and profile that we are looking for. And with all of that, that means we are value shopping for the most part, being smart about it because we are still trying to get some wiggle room in that cap. And as well as, you know, it's not going to be sexy moves. You know, just don't be surprised at who we grab in this time of need. You know, just be thankful for the process and trust the process. How about that? Now, in addition to that, we have signed veteran defensive player Eric Harris. He signed a one-year deal with us, and now the financial details are um, not yet known right about now. But he's played with the Raiders for the last four seasons, starting 30 games for them. He registered five interceptions, 20 passes defensed, and forced fumbles in that time. In addition to that, it looks like Alex Mack is now a San Francisco 49er, and he has signed uh, a one-year deal with them for $5.5 million, and he is reuniting with Kyle Shanahan, who, of course, is our former um, offensive coordinator and now head coach over there, so... Hey, um, something familiar, right? Now, of course, he is 35 years old, but I don't think Mac will show any signs of slowing down. In fact, I think he will still fit over there with Kyle Shining Hand, and um, you never know what could happen right there. Of course, it hurts to see Mac go, but it was time. Of course, it's no guarantee that we will be contending this year. Now, we hope so with these changes that we're making. Um, but th there is a need to get younger at center, apparently. Um, I wish him nothing but the best going forward. And, uh, you know, I'm really going to miss just seeing him on the field. But it had to happen, right? And I feel like it's not the last of these um, changes as well. So, yeah, in that statement that Terry stated, it just seems like it's going to be some very ugly cuts or trades etc that's about to be happening um then we gotta you know look forward to the draft etc so hey uh, of course i you know a lot of falcons nation will keep you guys updated on that we will be back this friday to kind of talk about some things as well with these new additions and changes um, you never know it's still early in the day so some things might happen even after this recording so to the next time people this is miss maggie t with atlanta falcons nation hit that subscribe button and leave a comment like you have been doing i appreciate the feedback um to the next time we are the nation and i'm out people peace